Hi, everyone, and welcome to the In the Shoes of podcast, where I make it my goal to see life as much as possible from someone else's point of view. Just like we all have a unique heartbeat, every single one of us sees life only from our own perspectives. Think about it. Can you see and process life exactly as Elon Musk sees and processes life? The answer is you can't, and it applies to every living conscious being here on this pale blue dot. Let me just say it's so nice to know that you are listening to this podcast right now. I truly do appreciate it. And just like last week was a little bit different, this week is going to be a little bit different as well. I'm up here in New York. Well, I'm situated in a loft right now in Brooklyn, Um, but I've been hanging out in Manhattan and, and all that too. It's just, it's a good place to come hang out, right? The people are really super cool. I have nothing but love for New York. This place is great. Plus, hey, the Beastie Boys are from here. I used to be in a Beastie Boys club when I was in the fourth grade, FYI. Um, But that's not really relevant to this show right now, but I thought I'd, you know, give you an update on that. So what I did this time was I decided to take to the streets of New York and ask one simple, well, it's not really a simple question, but ask a question. And the question essentially was this, if New York was a person, what would that person say about humanity? And I got some pretty cool answers. Um, I really don't have anything more to say about it. So let's just get to it. Let's roll on with the interviews. So here we go. Cheers. Perspective. Yeah. So um, the question actually is, in this case, if you were to personify New York and New York suddenly had to give an explanation of what it thought of humanity, what would you think that New York would Sorry, say? Sorry, I had a friend behind me making sure it was okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Like, nice <laughs> They're like, out. yeah, totally. Um, They're like, what is this question? guy doing? Yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, so the question is, if New York were personified and it was asked the question, how would you describe humanity? You know, since you have the bustling whole mix of humanity in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. How would how do you think New York would respond to that question? If it were personified, of course. Like how would I like how would I personify New York or how would No, New how York would New York be... respond after let's say it was personified, that's established, and then it had to answer the question of like, what is humanity? What what's their deal? You know, what, uh, how would you describe humanity itself? So how would New York describe humanity? Yes, exactly. Okay. It's a weird question. I, I, <laughs> it is. Um, how would New York describe humanity? Um, I, I feel like New York would say humanity is like it's kind of rowdy teenage child. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's it's... There's like New York would love its kids, yeah, and yet feel like like get your shit together. (laughs) (laughs) That's so perfect. (laughs) I love it. Thank you. I'm just getting little snippets. Appreciate it. Cheers. We're gonna go ahead and try to personify New York here and uh, figure out what you think New York would say about humanity in general. What New York would say about humanity? Yeah. If it was personified. Yep. Uh, but, I mean, if you think about it, New York embodies just about every so aspect many, of right. humanity, it's right? Good. So, so it's really, good. yeah, and so really it's going to be kind of whatever you probably, or your own thoughts on humanity are probably going to come into play anyway. Okay. Well, I would say that uh, in any way that humanity um, can be tempted... New York will attempt those uh, those weaknesses, and then for any seeker, you know, anyone who's seeking something out, um, something better for themselves, New York, you can find that in New York as well. So I think New York says anyone come to find whatever they need, you know. Right on. That makes sense to me. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Cool. All right, <laughs> Matias. Um, I think. I, th- I definitely think it, uh, New 
York is like a giant corporate ladder, you know, and there's the ones at the top don't really bother looking down because they're already up there and the ones at the bottom are top seems almost too foggy for them to even reach and so they either don't try and just stay mindlessly walking or they continue to fail until they you know find what's what's above the clouds and I think New York is a giant business that teaches you the hardest way of life you know um, and that's why some people make it and some people don't right what do you think it would say about the humanity in humanity general? in general would it would it have any uh, yeah, it would, like if it were describing it to you I like to ask the question if uh, you suddenly like I don't know right now if Benedict Cumberbatch appeared as an alien right here in a spacecraft how and you only had five minutes to describe what life was like here on the planet you know with all of our good all of our quote unquote bad and, and etc cetera, etc cetera, what would you say and or New York I think yes uh, I think New York, New York would say then the world is split up the world is split up by the world is split up by I don't want to say good and bad but common workers and creative workers there's common workers in both systems both build a foundation you know uh, humanity there's common worker which is general people who are walking in the streets and who, you know, work at a job or nine to five or run a business, all this, and then uh, creative work, which are, I consider, scientists or, or philosopher or artists. And, uh, you know, New York is filled with both. You go to Manhattan, there's common work, and then you go to Brooklyn or, you know, another area, which is a creative work. And creative worker, common worker and creative worker. And I think New York describe humanity as as that there's a foundation built off of two types of people neither is good or bad but both is completely different in, in where in what they do if new york was a person and it was asked to describe humanity what would new york say I know it flips the brain a little bit. It does flip yeah. the brain a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're visitors here. That's, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. I'm a visitor too, but I have a podcast that I'm like, oh, I'm in New York. Let's uh, do something here, you know? Based on today, humanity is a little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what I would say. Good, succinctly <laughs> put. What about you, Todd? I would say there's a little bit of everybody in every one of us. In other words, you pick something out of each person, and there's probably something in me like every every. I think we all have a connection. I love it. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Crazy and uh, kind of more the. Uh, Buddhism type of like yeah we all we're all kind of connected in a sort of way yeah, right. yeah. yeah. so it must mean we all have a little bit of crazy then right? we do and, we've and we seen do it. we've seen it today we've seen it in, we've seen it in a 90 year old Jewish woman that splits her time between here and Jerusalem wow and uh, and a guy that draws bad portraits in Central Park yeah. And not well, bad. I mean, intentionally yep, yep, bad. Yes, intentionally he bad. Advertises bad portraits. Too. Really? We yes. Don't want. Well, why am I not doing that? I, I am know, not good at art. So. I pay fifteen bucks. Neither is he. We paid him twenty dollars for it. So <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? <laughs> Only in America. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Hey, well, thank you so much. That's, this is really great. Yeah, All right. Cool. Yeah. Cheers. The podcast is called In the Shoes Of, and it's a perspective podcast, so I try to get into the shoes of someone else, see life, how they see it. But right now, I'm trying to get what people, like, let's pretend that New York was a person. What would New York say about humanity? That's the question, what would New York say about humanity? Uh, yeah, I know my answer, I think. Okay. Let's hear it. Uh, can you people learn how to fucking recycle? <laughs> Is it on? Is it on?
It's on. It's going. I We're guess, rolling. I guess it happens to what he said. Like, we gotta do better. Gotcha. We gotta do better. Yep. Yeah, sure. The sign is right there. All right. <laughs> so we gotta recycling. do better. So I didn't even know that was a problem with New York. That uh, is, yeah. really okay. It is, and it's funny because the more they try to uh, make it clear, like it still doesn't work. People hmm. still don't listen. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. Cause, okay. Because now I feel like some people, like some tenants, when they do the recycling, they're supposed to do the recycling, but they don't. So then the landlord has to get someone to like clean out the the garbage before it gets tossed out. Gotcha. So like it ha- it literally they're trying to make the work more simpler for everyone to work as one and it's just like it always falls into one person that has to like do it same thing with like companies like you know big corporations H&M are like they're supposed to recycle as well like, they have different plans to recycle but I doubt they do like the way that the packaging for some of these clothing come in it's like boxes and stuff like that and you see it all over the streets especially if you work late night you see how like t- the middle of Times Square is like filled with trash that's, that is not good, definitely. So, and then where it makes me wonder then, and I probably don't want to know the answer. Where does all that trash go? I don't. Know. Where is it that? I it think you know the answer, right? No, but there's an island, isn't it? Trash island. Trash. It's the size of Manhattan. Yeah, there's an no, island. No, it's that's not true. It's the size of Texas. I'm sorry, I just totally. No, it's there the size is an of actual Texas. island. Where yeah, they throw all the trash I've heard about that. Like, it's in like the Pacific somewhere. Oh, that's not good. Okay. A little bit of context. It's all about seeing life from the perspective of someone else. Okay. But this time, I want to find out Absolutely. if New York was a person, what would New York say about humanity? Mm. Oh. That's kind of deep. <laughs> no, giving it to him. Oh, I was hoping to hear you to expound. Because I don't say know about nothing humanity. Could... Yeah, what would it say? Yeah. Because if you think about it, New York has just about everything. Right. Uh, all aspects of right, humanity. Right, right. So if it was a person, what would it say? Like okay. knowing what it knows about everything that goes on, the good, the right, bad, right, the ugly, right, the right, beautiful. Right. right. I'm not going to be that in depth, but. No, it's all right. Love is the key to get the victory. I love it. And that's, <laughs> that's it. You right? love it. I do. Uh, uh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, have, I do exactly. have a comment. Yeah, all right. Definitely a place where you can be free to be who you are you'll be accepted but then on the other hand you may get a little backlash that people may talk about you a little bit but you are free and confident confident to be who you are with no inhibitions live your best life enjoy life to the fullest and you know whoever you are do you that's so cool yeah you know here in New York I feel like I can't just yeah because you're gonna have exactly. someone screaming on the side Always. of the court. Right. The court anyway, so, so it's like if you want to go scream too, right? Go for it. Yeah. You know? Then that other end is like, be who you are, be that creative person, be that. If you're an introvert, be the best introvert and make it work for you. Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah. I dig that. All right. If New York was a person, I think New York would say that humanity is resilient um, and ever-changing and evolving but in the end always kind of comes together and takes care of each other I love it that's that is perfect does anyone else want to add on to that I think she said that perfectly cool, right? <laughs> that was really good yeah that was good I think New York would say humanity is all-inclusive that's always a- welcome very cool uh, I love that. Okay, cool. Anyone else want to add anything? What do you think, Brooklyn? Yeah. Her name is Brooklyn. <laughs> I think there are no color lines is what it would say. No color lines and that it's just, I feel all love, right? There's no separation yeah. between types or colors or whatnot. It's oh, true. true. Yeah. yeah, everyone, everyone is go. like, everyone is. All <laughs> What would New York say about humanity? <laughs> it can be just off the cuff. What Come do you in. think? What's that? Come in. Welcome. Come in. Perfect. All right. Welcoming. I like that positive vibe there. Now let's see if Ben, though. You know. I have to see my wife. I agree with her in all aspects. <laughs> 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 Cool. Same thing. 
Thank you so much to the people of New York for spending your time with me and for answering this very important question of how New York sees humanity, if New York was a person that is, and of course to the visitors to New York as well. Um, I think I learned some pretty valuable insights and it was all, there was a common thread there of just how actually it is. It's very, it's all inclusive, it's welcoming, it's incredibly diverse um, and just be you, which is pretty rad. All of you who I spoke with, you know who you are. And thank you again. It was truly, I feel very fortunate to have spoken with you. And you have, uh, you've really touched my life in a certain way. And um, I really do, it's really, really cool. Um, to all of you, and like, I, I spoke with so many, di just ever, everyone was so cool, but different from various parts of the world. And um, even I remember there, there was a family I spoke with. It was just a couple families and just of, of uh, various ethnicities and backgrounds, but all together and content, happy. And I feel like they are an illustration of what we really could be. So I'll leave it at that. And I will leave you with some background Manhattan noise with a beat behind it, too, of course. All right, until next time, as they say.